It's been amazing to reflect back on. I was heavily involved in FFA. I graduated from Shelley High School where I went through the FFA program there. And then I went on to serve as the state president of the entire state of Idaho. And that was a really unique experience of seeing the impact that FFA can have in students' lives across our states. I think we're really fortunate here at Rigby because just the program that our teachers have set up for us makes it super easy for us to get involved. The idea that we're trying to help them understand what their opportunities, future opportunities are, and develop the skills here so that they can have access to those opportunities. Our role as officers is to create a program of activities every year and opportunities for members who want to get involved in agriculture, but also in FFA as well. I really enjoyed Mr. Godfrey's hydraulics class because I could apply that to my everyday life. And so I think seeing from the start of something that was not even really there to something that placed fifth in the nation was really special to me. Students and their growth. It's not about what I teach, it's about who I teach. The students are what matter, and any time that we lose that foundation, that principle, we lose the heart and the magic of what makes agricultural education work. And what makes it work is the students in the classroom and their opportunities going forward. There's a different kind of friendship here and a different kind of feeling here instead of in the big building where there's so many other people. Here it's like almost like family. You just get to know each other so well. There are 2,200 kids in this school and we get about 600 of them that come in here. We have a large percentage of those. The reason they come here is not because they're trying to gain any real big skills or they're trying to set the world on fire or win plaques or awards. They come here because they feel safe. I feel like we all are in this building to be a team and complete a common goal that we all want to have. With being a team, we all get to know each other really well, our strengths, our weaknesses, so we can achieve that common goal. I had the opportunity as a sophomore to go to Moscow, Idaho, which is where State is, and we actually took first at State and went to Nationals in October, and that was a super rare opportunity. Not very many people get to do it. You definitely have to earn it here in Rigby. Also, our program kind of beats the stereotype that to be an FFA, you have to be a farmer. Over a third of our officer team out of the 25 officers don't come from that kind of background. Not at all. Like, their parents are you know, business owners, they sell insurance, maybe realtors. Rigby is a really special community. Uh, it's, it's a really awesome group of people who care a lot about their kids on all levels, and um, elementary through high school. When I was serving as the state president, I came here quite a few times and engaged with their chapter and saw the magic that the advisors were having in students' lives, and I couldn't help but want to mentor that and follow in their footsteps. A lot of it is the culture, pretty much here, everywhere around here, in the building, it's like one big family basically. To be able to bond and have those kind of friends is really something that makes you want to stay. Through all the activities that we do, we do so many activities together and all the trips that we go on as well. It just brings us so much closer together. I was raised with a farm background and everything like that, but now that I'm an officer, I have all the opportunities that are in FFA. There's a bunch of scholarships and stuff like that. And I've realized that you don't have to be from an agriculture background to be involved in FFA. So I guess it's just my passion. If you are in a high school and you're not sure if you fit in anywhere, go find the local ag program and you'll know that automatically that you belong. I've grown so much significantly in the past two years. When I'm here, I've seen myself grow so much more than I have over the entire course of my life. Mr. Hale asked me to come join and I thought he was just some crazy old man, but it was honestly the best. The best thing that ever happened to me, it's we're a big family and just building those relationships and helping to teach people and get them involved and such great opportunities offered here has just been awesome. The Three Circle Model is trying to encompass all parts, the classroom, the laboratory, the FFA, the leadership, and the opportunities for recognition. And what we try to do is to push those circles closer and closer together so that we get more students in what we refer to as the magic middle. Kids that do well in CDEs find out and understand the magic formula of hard work plus smart work makes and creates success. That's what I want them to learn. And so when they walk out of here, they feel like they can take on the world. Last year I had the opportunity as a junior to go to SLC and compete for a proficiency. And usually juniors don't qualify for it. And I actually won in Ag Processing when I placed National Gold. Um, I was the fifth in the nation. So that was a pretty big accomplishment for me. I didn't think I was going to be doing very well in that, but going to SLC, walking on that stage, and getting announced as the winner of the Forge Production Entrepreneurship, 
It was a really amazing experience. I think that's what's important when you look at kids. Do you respect them enough to elevate them above delinquent behavior? My favorite part of being in FFA is not just one specific event, but the traveling opportunities. With FFA, I've, been, I've traveled all over the state of Idaho. I've traveled to Indianapolis, I've been to Ohio, and in May, I will be going to Oklahoma. So I think that it's just a really cool, just the traveling opportunities. Sometimes it's an aha moment for a student where they get it and that light bulb goes off and that's so exciting. Sometimes it's the realization that they have a passion for something they didn't know. And that has been so rewarding, is seeing my students succeed outside of the classroom and on their own. Last season, let's start with the SAEs. We had two district stars. One went on to become the state star in agri placement. We had those 17 proficiency candidates, 14 state winners, two national finalists. Most of our state winners were gold. We had a couple of silvers. We had 10 American FFA degrees. As far as CDEs, I enjoy coaching ag mechanics. I enjoy coaching the environmental natural resource team. I enjoy coaching the, the ag communications team. And all of these teams that, that I coach placed in the top three in the state. We also had a state winning Envirothon team, which is an open event where some FFA chapters go. These kids went on and competed at the international event in Ohio in July. And then recently this fall, our state soils team just one state and we'll be competing in May back in Oklahoma City. Parents I think are looking for a good way to raise their kids, a way to make sure that they're growing into adults that are going to be productive members of society and it's an honor to me that they trust me with helping in a really small portion to be able to raise those kids and give them skills so they can be successful in their future.